Accessing smart photos from applications other than the standalone is extremely easy. Let me show you how to do that first through Lightroom. I'm going to select an image, control click or right click on my photo, and go to edit in. We'll select Perfect Effects 9 from there. And in the dialog box, I want to make sure that I choose edit a copy with my Lightroom adjustments and go to the copy options section. The most important change here will be your file format. You have to make sure that if you want to create a smart photo, the file format is set to PSD. Once I'm done and I click edit, it will pop up this dialog box asking if I'd like to choose normal photo or smart photo. You also have the option of choosing this always use this option checkbox. If you know you always want to access Perfect Effects 9 Premium by using smart photos, you can check that box and every single time you bring a PSD into effects, it will always select smart photo or if you don't want to use smart photos, you can choose the normal photo option. I'll go ahead and select smart photo. Once it loads my image into Perfect Effects, on the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to apply one of the on one favorite looks. I'm going to select on one color fade. We'll click to apply it. And then on the right hand side, take a look at the filter stack. There are four different filters that were used to create this look. Now we'll click apply in the bottom right hand corner. And it will bring me immediately back into Lightroom. You'll see I have my original raw file and my editable PSD. If you'd like to go back into effects and edit this exact same image, you can either go up to the file menu and scroll down to plugin extras and choose perfect effects nine from there. Or if you want to go through the right click menu, we can control click or right click on that same photo, go to edit in, choose perfect effects nine. The most important part of re-editing your smart photo is choosing the edit original option. When I select that, it will make sure that we're not creating another copy of this same photo, we're going back into our smart photo. When I click edit, it'll process my image, bring me back into perfect effects, and on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see that my filter stack is exactly the same. All four of those filters that make up the color fade preset are there on the right, and I can go through and make adjustments, add more filters, subtract ones I don't like, and so much more. Once I'm done, I can go back down and click the apply button. It'll apply my new changes and bring me right back into Lightroom. Accessing smart photos from Aperture is very similar to Lightroom. We'll start out by selecting a raw file, control clicking or right clicking on that image and going to edit with plugin. When we choose Perfect Effects 9, it will automatically create a copy of that raw file. It'll first ask me whether I'd like to edit a smart photo or a normal photo. I also have the always use this option checkbox here that I can select as well. I'm going to choose smart photo. It'll take my image into effects. And then on the left hand side, let's go ahead and apply one of the on one favorite looks. I'm going to choose the matte black and white for this image, which I'll click to apply. And on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see my filter stack has two filters. We'll click apply in the bottom right hand corner. It'll add those changes to my image and it'll drop me right back into Aperture. Here you'll see that I have my original image right next to my after image. Let's go back in and re-edit that black and white. I'll control click or right click on my image, go to edit with plugin, choose perfect effects one more time. And because this is already a PSD smart photo, when I bring it back into effects, on the right hand side of my screen, you'll see my black and white and my tone enhancer filters are just the same. Now I can go through, I can add a new filter, subtract a filter, I can make adjustments from here, and when I'm done again, I'll go back to the bottom right and click apply. It'll save those changes and I can keep re-editing that photo as many times as I want.